So before I go any further, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor. Take three seconds of your time, subscribe, and hit that bell. That way you can stay up to date on all the content, because I'm delivering. You got to be able to handle what I'm delivering. Can you pick up what I'm putting down? Hit the goddamn bell. Oh, hey, the Beard, it's your boy Big Beard B, and we're back for another edition of Big Beard Business. In today's video, we're going to review my top five most complimented fragrances for the springtime. So let me set the framework. I live in uh, Miami, man, the beautiful South Florida. For me, springtime is, is hot, it's blazing, it's scorching, it's humid. So I got fragrances that's going to do well in that type of environment. Also, these fragrances are set to work well for personal usage or for work usage. If you're in an office or if you're just out and about, these fragrances should work for you. So number five on the list is Mandarina Duck Black. This one, man, I came across this years and years ago. I was in Orlando at the Florida the mall and I found this at one of the places there and I got one for me and one for a friend price point on this one's really not bad at all I got it for 90 bucks and I'm pretty sure it can be had online at one of those discounted sites for under 30 bucks right now so not gonna break your pockets it's a very nice fragrance it has a cedar sandalwood orange I don't really see this fragrance talked about much in the fragrance community so I definitely wanted to bring it to light out of all the fragrances that I'm going to be discussing today I think this is going to be the best at night very nice fragrance mandarina duck black for number five spot. In the number four spot, we got Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. This one here is kind of hard to come past. It's a designer fragrance, but it's not readily available, at least not in my area at most of the big box department stores. But this one was given to me by some of my employees as I was leaving out, and I've been looking for it forever. So if I had to explain this fragrance, it's uh, creamy undertones. It has uh, lime, lemon. It's like a Sprite, it's like a rendition of Sprite. Uh, vanilla, sandalwood in this one, very nice fragrance. I think anyone else out in the fragrance community would definitely agree that this one is a masterpiece. Price points, not bad. 90 bucks, I believe, is kind of where you'll see this at 100 ml price point. So it's not really bad. It's not tough on the pockets, but it gone as compliments like crazy. It has nice projection, nice sillage. Definitely a great addition to the collection. Coming in the number four spot, Chanel Aurore Edition Blanche. In the number three spot, we got Bulgari Man Extreme. This one I came across maybe about three or four years ago. This is a blind buy. And it was, no, it wasn't a blind buy. It was actually a sample that was sent to me. And it was an immediate purchase. This one has an odd note of cactus in it. I'm not sure why, but it does. It's spicy but it's still fresh. You can smell the citrus in it. Out of the, all the other fragrances, this was a, a little more synthetic than the others, but it's not bad. More generic, so it's more, I guess, appealing to others, where it's not too far out there, and they're not gonna wonder what it is. 100 ml bottle for this one. Again, I found this one on Amazon. Not really expensive, I wanna say. I spent 50 bucks on this one for 100 ml, 3.4, and every single time I wear this cologne, I get multiple compliments. So again, this is another one that's not gonna break the bank, that's going to work well in the office, gonna work well out and about. Uh, to me, you know, you throw in a white t-shirt, you know, to go out with the family, spray this on, you're good to go. It lasts a while, especially to be a fresh fragrance, it definitely lasts a long time. Definitely a must buy. Number three, we got Bulgari Manic Strength. Number two on the list, we got Dior Homme Cologne. This one here is a masterpiece. I came across this in Macy's. I want to say, I just ran in, my wife was in the car, ran in, I said, hey, let me stop and smell a fragrance. I smelled this, walked out to the car, she said, you got to get it, and I got it. This one here, I actually purchased for my father-in-law first. He, he was kind of indifferent about it. He called it Lemony Pledge. <laughs> <laughs> this one to me, man, it, it, it smells excellent. Even though lemon isn't in the note breakdown that I could find, it smells like lime, lemon, pretty simple breakdown musk, and I believe a floral fragrance. Being that it's a cologne concentration, it's not going to be a long staying power, right? So it's not gonna stay on all day, so you will probably need to reapply this, but it will get you a ton of compliments. As with most Dior colognes, probably about 100 bucks is what you'll spend for this. I don't remember the exact price point, but I'll remember to link and list it below. So you go ahead and check this out. Number two on the list, Dior own cologne. And number one on the list is the Citrus Moab Balm. Virgin Island Water, Creed's Virgin Island Water. This is a coconut 
lime, zesty, lemon, mandarin, any type of fruit you want to name, bomb. This one here is a masterpiece, hence the price. It makes it very expensive. Any of you guys out there familiar with Cree fragrances, as I talked about in a few videos back, Cree fragrances are known to be excellent fragrances. This one garners me a ton of compliments, especially in the spring and summer times. It's very fruity, very fresh. Um, but then though that this is a fresh fragrance, it does last. Most of the, the fresh fruit fragrances you will have to reapply, but this one you're probably gonna get a nice six plus hours out of, which is great for a fresh fragrance. Must buy for any collector or if you're new to the game and you wanna know, hey, what's my first? Maybe not your first one because Aventus might wanna be your first one. But one of your first niche fragrances, Creed Virgin Island Water. I got so many people turned on to this one. It's crazy, you know, you spray this one on, somebody might eat you and that's all I got to say. Number one on the list, Virgin Island Water made by the good people at Creed. I'm having them all listed linked below and uh, price points on these have changed. All right, so I would tell you the price point on it, but it's changed, I believe it's closer to the $400 mark before where it was 355 ish Leave me a like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we back again. Hit the goddamn bell. And if you wanna feel fresh, you wanna smell good, then try these fragrances out and you won't be disappointed. It's your boy Big Big B, signing out.